This spring, I had the chance of a lifetime. I was given a really cool tour of Puesta del Sol, a net zero building in my school district, Bellevue. Puesta is a green building and green building is a system. Today, we're going to look at one element of this system. Energy production through the photovoltaic system. Green buildings can produce energy in a couple of different ways, but most buildings opt for a PVS. PVS stands for photovoltaic system, and photovoltaic means, well, solar panels. Solar energy is just one source of renewable energy, alongside wind, hydro, geothermal, and bioenergy. Puesta has 781 solar panels that each can produce 490 watts per hour, totaling 38,000 watt hours, which provides up to 410 megawatt hours of energy in a year. That's the same amount of energy it would take to drive 700,000 miles. Solar panels themselves are pretty complicated, but incredibly engineered to capture energy. First, the solar panel converts energy from the sun into direct current, DC, energy. Then, an inverter converts the direct current electricity into alternating current, AC, electricity. In AC form, the electricity can be used for lights, TVs, computers, and more. If the energy isn't needed at that moment, Puesta has a huge battery, a 125 kilowatt hour battery system. This isn't your regular photovoltaic system. It's a super system. The system is controlled by a brain that controls the interaction between the solar panels, the battery, and the city's electrical grid. It's kind of like a giant oak tree. Just like a tree pulling nutrients from its roots and energy from its leaves, the brain balances the energy it pulls from storage in the battery, from the PVS system, and from utility to power the building. It takes electricity from three different sources and sends it to the light systems, heating systems, appliances, and any other system that needs it, like the tree sending nutrients and energy to the branches that need them. The brain can recognize when electricity from the grid is more expensive and disconnect from the grid to use the stored battery's energy instead. This means in the morning, when every building in Bellevue is turning on its lights for the day, Puesta will be using cheaper, sustainably produced electricity. Kind of like how a tree can continue photosynthesizing during the nighttime, even without sunlight. The battery system can also pump electricity back into the grid. And if there's a power outage, the brain knows to control the energy flowing from the battery until power is back up. Although Puesta will use energy from the grid, especially on cold, rainy Seattle days when the sun isn't out, the goal of a net zero energy building is to have no energy footprint over a calendar year. In the summer months, the building will be producing a lot of solar energy and pumping it into the grid. And during the winter, it will consume about as much. Over a year, it evens out to zero. Green buildings get their energy from green sources. From there, you have the power to do anything. Today, we looked at one small part of green building, but Puesta isn't alone. What's happening here matters to my school district. When I go to the Bellevue School District website, I see their sustainability policy. Bellevue is one of the first districts in Washington to have a sustainability policy. Green building is also important to my city, Bellevue. When I go to my city's website, I see this pie chart. Energy use in buildings is half the problem, but we have a whole plan to solve it. My city is part of a climate alliance with 18 other cities called K4C. Look it up. Hi, I'm back with another fun fact. If even one solar panel gets dirty or is damaged, the efficiency of the entire array goes down. Puesto solar panels are set up in 8 to 12 arrays to maximize efficiency. So, if one solar panel goes down, the rest are still working at max capacity.